Hey everybody, it's Glenn coming at you with a quick, super easy tutorial on how to edit 360 video from your Insta360, whatever it may be, in Adobe Premiere Pro. Alright, so the camera, my Insta360, and we're going to rock right into the tutorial. So the first thing that you want to do is, and I'll drop links in the description for all of these links. Um, is go to your insta360.com forward slash downloads the very first thing that you want to do is download the insta360 studio because that has the premiere pro um, plugins alright so after you do that you want to come down to that same web page and download the third party software and that's the GoPro FX reframe plugin so you're gonna click download there and it's gonna take you over to GoPro's website and you want to download that for either Mac or Windows. It's important to do that in that order, otherwise it won't work. So you got to download the Insta360 Studio first and then download the GoPro FX Reframe. Both very important steps in being able to edit your Insta360 video without the Insta360 uh, app. So all your editing with this Insta360 video is going to be in Premiere Pro. And this makes it seamless and very easy. So those are the first two steps. All right. Now we go over to Premiere Pro. We want to drop in our video. But before I want to do that, just so I create a 4K sequence, I want to go and drop in some regular 4K video. So I'm going to import that media and drag that over to my timeline just so that my sequence is a uh, regular 4k so this is just some video that I shot with my Fujifilm and now that I've done that now that I have my sequence set up in 4k I'm gonna come back over to my insta360 video that I shot and I'm gonna drag this in to my project okay so once I have the insta360 in my project I'm going to just take over one of these and I'm going to drop it in my timeline. All right. Before I do anything to it, though, you're going to see this is what it looks like. All right. This is what the 360 video looks like. Now, what we want to do is go to our effects. We're going to go to video effects. And since you downloaded that GoPro FX reframe, you're going to see GoPro FX. GoPro FX reframe and you're gonna drop it right on there now see it changes it it's not 4k so this is one of the things that I was struggling with what do we do how do I change this instead of just 1080 on my insta360 video simple uh, this is as of August 2020 okay so if you download all this stuff or update it I, I just recently updated it today I was having trouble and now the um, effects panel here has your projection so you want it to go to instead of 16 by 9 we're going to change it to GoPro 4k 16 by 9 there we go now prior to this when I was editing the FX reframe would only allow you to go up to 1080 but now we have this projection um, selection here so now I can change it to 4k all right, so the important parts of this, once we get into the editing aspect, now you've got it all set up. You can drag and edit your Insta360 video solely in Premiere Pro without having to worry about the Insta360 app. All right, all in Premiere Pro. So this is a beautiful thing. All right, so we're just going to find an um, area that I want to edit real fast. And right now I'm going to take, I'm going to mute this track. All right, so the first thing that you want to do in this timeline is activate all your pan, tilt, rotate, lens curve, and zoom. Okay, so where I want to start, we'll just start right here. Uh, here's your pan, left and right, of course, tilt up and down. Okay, and rotate. We don't need to rotate it yet because uh, my horizon is pretty much level. All right, and then zoom. So here's where you can make it look like a little world and zoom out. So I'm flying a powered paraglider or a paramotor here in this video um, in Western North Carolina. 
and so right here I want to zoom out to where I get the whole wing in my body with the paramotor and since I activated these with this little stopwatch here it adds um, it adds these keyframes so here we go I'm gonna press the spacebar and we can press play and those keyframes will stay active and it'll stay in that spot and I start to turn as you can see so I want to add some more keyframe and I don't have to add a keyframe now because I've activated these stopwatches here anytime I change the pan tilt rotate lens curve or zoom it's going to add another keyframe so just for example let's say I want to go over to here and then tilt now there's a new keyframe you can see those keyframes right there so from the start where I added those first keyframes I press the spacebar it's going to morph slowly to where the new keyframes are all right and I start a turn and this is where it gets fun so I'm going to continually add keyframes in this frame to adjust the perspective of the Insta360 space and what you're gonna have to do is just play with this until you get it right now one tip that I will give you is that what you want to try and do is keep the horizon level okay unless you want to get into some funky perspectives you want to try and keep the horizon level as much as possible it's kind of hard to do when you're flying a paramotor and you're doing maneuvers like this but you're just gonna have to slowly go and manipulate your footage to keep the horizon level and here I go a flip all right so um, I can and another way to add keyframes if you don't if you want to adjust this quickly is you can go in here add keyframes by pressing these buttons here okay we just added a bunch of keyframes and let's say I go over just a few frames I can quickly snap those out so that if I go back here okay you're gonna see it'll quickly snap to a new perspective and there you go so in a recap alright I showed you that uh, we got to in order to edit your video on Premiere Pro from your Insta360 all right, the key things are you got to download the Insta360 Studio. We're not editing the video in the studio, but you just have to download this program. It installs the plugins for Premiere. You download the GoPro FX Reframe. That will allow you to drop your Insta360 video in your timeline. From there, you are going to go to Effects, GoPro FX, drop that GoPro FX Reframe on there, adjust your projection if you want it to be 1080. Or 4k activate all of these uh, stopwatches and just start plugging away at your keyframes well that's my tutorial for today and I wish you the best of luck with your insta360 video till the next video which I'm gonna be coming out soon do me a favor hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video so all your friends know how to edit their 360 video and I will see you guys in the next video.